Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So welcome to my weekly favorites. A little bit late, but I'm here. And I will get started with my nail polish as usual. Nail polish that I've been wearing for this week is Essie's Mojito Madness. That's how you say it. I've been wearing this nail polish for a week and that's all it's chip like it's still hanging in there it's it's done pretty good I mean you can tell right here that it's already chipping but I was surprised because usually SC nail polishes by the third fourth day it looks like this already but surprisingly it didn't and I really like this color also and for really my favorites pretty. first one I'm just gonna mention it because I've already talked a lot about it already I'm pretty sure you guys know it's the L'Oreal Revise to Live Miracle Blur this thing is awesome so there's one that I've been using for about three or four days from this past week and one of them is the Adara Paris palette 5 cream 5 camouflage cream concealers looks like this the packaging looks like this by the way this is a Mexican brand you can only get it in Mexico or adaraparis.com but I'm not sure if they sure if they ship white like widely like worldwide so yeah but for those of you girls that watch from in Mexico you should try this because it is really really good I use this for my blemishes for any breakouts that I might have at the moment I only have this one and then this one next to my lip and probably just one up here but that's it and I like to use two different types of concealer one for under my eyes and then a different one like a more thicker one for my face and I really love this one for my face for under my eyes I've been using this cargo one base concealer and foundation in one and I have it in the color one base zero two that's what it is this is what it looks like I'm not sure they still sell they still sell cargo yeah they do I got this a long time ago when uh, it was on sale on Sephora, I think, Sephora, but this is what it looks like. It is a little bit, obviously it's lighter than my skin tone, that's why I've been using it for under my eyes, and I really have been liking the way it leaves my, my under eyes, it definitely gives that brightening effect, it does conceal very well, so I really like it, and yeah, so far so good. Next, I've been using two cream products, one is the Sony Kashuk, uh, not foundation, Sony Kashuk, cream bronzer and it is in the color 41 warm tan packaging looks like this really really pretty and this is the product and that's the color you guys are probably not going to be able to tell because I am tan yes I am right there really like this bronzer I've been using it instead of using powder bronzers and I use it to contour here and around like I do the 3E with it and then um, I focus more like on my cheekbones or right here, on the hollows on my cheeks. This one, this is the brush that I've been using to apply the cream bronzer and it works really great. So if you guys are interested in a new brush or if you guys are looking for a new brush, definitely try the Real Techniques. This is the contour the other brush. cream product that I've been using, I really have been loving this, is the Revlon Photo Ready Coral Reef. These are the cream blushes. I know these little thingies are really expensive. They're about $12 or $13. I do have a review on these. I'll put the link down below. It's been like a year probably. No, maybe less. No, it's not a year. It's been about seven or eight months ago that I did a review on these blushes. Uh, I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested to go see my review. And this is what it looks like. These are very pigmented really really nice I I really like them they set to like a powder finish they don't last on for hours and hours just go watch the review that I did you guys are interested I'm using this stippling brush this is from real techniques and that's what I use to apply my for my second powder this is the one that I've been using it's really good actually it's a cover FX and this is the matte setting powder to keep myself matte it doesn't keep myself entirely matte if that's what you're looking for this doesn't do that this pretty much just sets it I don't see like any big difference 
between this one or any other setting pattern. I really like it though because it does give me a little bit of that. It gives me a, like a little sheer coverage. So if I already have a foundation that gives me a sheer to medium coverage and I add this to it, it's going to look really nice. More onto a maybe a full coverage. But um, just letting you know, just because it says matte, it's not really a matte powder, but I use it as a setting powder and I really can't shake Ion Neutral 02. Since I dyed my hair again, I don't know if you guys have noticed, yes, I dyed my hair. I previously had it dark, and then I went to lighter color, and then I went back to a darker color. No, a less lighter color, and then I went this dark now. I know I'm crazy, don't. Everybody has gotten after me already and told me stuff, so I, I have enough. Don't, don't, please don't message me anything regarding my hair, because I, I, I know. I've been loving this palette. Uh, it's very versatile. I love it because you can use it for many things. You can use it to do an eyeshadow look. You can use it also to contour, maybe on your nose, contour everywhere. And you can use it for your eyebrows. And the color that I like using here is the 9. Sometimes I use 8 and 9, which are these two right here. Sometimes I'll get a little bit of black just to darken it up, like right here on the end. But not a lot. I really love this palette, you guys. It's matte. I think this palette is very essential. Anybody out there needs it. You know, I think. And then my last favorite is this Lancome Quad. Looks like this. I got this at the flea market. It had like a sticker over it, so it was closed. It was brand new. And looks like this. This is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know, you guys have a picture there, you guys can see close by how my eyeshadow looks. Really love this little quad. Really, really pigmented. Um, this was, I think this was three, no, this was four dollars, I think. Three or four dollars. The lady gave it to me for four dollars, maybe. And these are super pigmented. I really really like it I don't think this is like a Lancome palette it's more a uh, I think you get these with a gift with purchase I think if I'm not mistaken but I really like the colors what else and then for my regret I have one regret it's it's not a hundred percent a regret but it's still a regret um it is this Milani eyeshadow excuse me Milani Eye Easy Brow. Again, it's this Milani Easy Brow Automatic Pencil Water Resistant, and I have it in dark brown. On one end, you have a spoolie, and on the other end, you have the brow pencil. I like the color, it really matches my eyebrows, it's like perfect, but I don't like, I like the way it goes on my, on my hands, but when I put it over my hairs on my brows, it, it, when I apply it, I feel like it stays there, like it, I don't know how to explain it, like I apply it, right, and I know it has a spoolie for that reason, that way you can spread it out, but it doesn't work, like it doesn't spread out, I either have to do it really, really hard, that way you can even it out because if not you're you're gonna see that there's a line there it doesn't spread out that well I've used my other regular spoolie it doesn't work either I don't know I'm pretty sure there's I'll, I'll find a way I can use this if not as an eyebrow I'll just use but it as an, for an eyebrow and for the moment I've been using this I've been trying to use it for about two weeks already and I still haven't gotten the the right results that I'm looking for so that's why it's a regret but nonetheless I'm still gonna be trying to make it work so these are my weekly favorites let me know what were yours and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know and welcome to my new subscribers hello i'll see you in my next video and take care and god bless bye bye